going on guys, Arctic Zero. Welcome back to another Marvel Strike Force video. Today we've got a webcam as you can see. Or is it like right right here down below? Yep, there we are. Hello. Uh thought we'd step up our game, throw that in there. because uh, I haven't, might as well use it. Um sorry I've been gone for a little bit, just really haven't been too enticed. Enticed. Interesting word choice. Um to make another video, but now that Red Skull has come out. I definitely wanted to make a video on him, just like we did with Cyclops. Um, there was some news updates that came out, but really there wasn't anything that I've really been doing that's really affected me to where I've, I've been, you know, like, oh, I've got to make a video on that. It's like, yeah, that's cool, you know. There's been news about Villains uh, campaign coming out with uh, Hello Farmable, and then Sif in the War Store, which is a pretty big controversy because it, War Store is not the easiest way to... Uh, uh, get character shards because it's pretty hard to get those um, red, uh, the red, uh, what do you call them, like tickets for, for the war store here. So, uh, yeah, like 1375, I've got 3000 just waiting for Sif to roll through. And I also need them here for stuff like this, the, the tier 14 mats. So, uh, it's been difficult uh, with that stuff. So, there is a new team coming out that I do want to talk about other than Hydra that's been out, but um, the Thanos and his followers. So be on the lookout for that because that's coming soon. Anyways, here we go. We got a Red Skull here. We dropped $100 so we could go ahead and pick them up. Uh, those tax returns coming in, you know, making me uh, got a little extra dough in the wallet with those coming around. So here we go, unlocking them at three stars. There he is, Hundred starting power 105. Uh, we have orbs to open uh, to get more shards for him. Hopefully we can get a big pull. Let's go ahead and see what we get. Actually, I think there's this there's this thing. So settings. Someone was telling me, like, yeah, if you go advanced, open multiple orbs at once. And if we do that, orbs. Yeah, we can open 10 at once. All right, do I want to open 10 at once? Yeah, let's just do 10 at once. Okay, here we go. Oh, we got an 80. 142 shards. We pulled an 80. <laughs> we pulled an 80. Here comes six more. Is that an 80? Oh, 72,000. Okay, we got 50 that time. Dude. That's a four star, right? Where's he at? We got a favorite red skull. He's down at the bottom. Uh, yeah, Red Skull, favorite. Go back. And Red Skull, rank up. Yo, that's just shy. That's just shy of five stars, I think. Yeah, that's eight charge short of a five star. That's that was that was great, guys. We just pulled like, wow, that that was a lot. A lot of shards we just pulled there. Eighty plus a hundred and twenty-two. I think it was like 70 plus 100, like 192 shards I think we just pulled. That was, that, that's really good. That's going to help us out a lot, getting this Hydra team online. Uh, I think we need to buy some gold. Um, yeah, we're going to have to buy gold. All right, guys, we got some gold orbs here. Got to go ahead and open so we can get him leveled up here. So we're going to go ahead, open these up. Three at once. All right, 490,000 from those three. That's putting us at 1.4 mil, 1.14 mil. So we'll go ahead and level them up to probably like 50, I think. Yeah, uh, yeah. let's do 50 for now. We're going to have to work on him for a while to, to get him on tier just because it's going to be so expensive. We're going to equip all, upgrade all this stuff we got here. We don't have any red stars for, for uh, Red Skull yet. I did open some uh, some Red Star orbs recently, just from uh, the uh, the daily rewards and the Red Star Blitz, but I didn't pull any for him. Usually, I I, I tend to get um, characters when they release out of Red Star orbs, just because their chances increase. I feel like we're probably gonna get to tier eight. I feel like we're gonna fall short of tier nine. What is this on my phone? Uh, order receipt for the gold. Yeah, all right. We're even short of tier seven. Okay. What's stopping us? How far can we get before it cuts off? It's all these bios. Yeah, syringes. 
raid supplies. Okay, yeah, we're good. But we're gonna. I think we're gonna continue to run out too. There we go. Equip all. Upgrade. But now we're gonna be stuck because we're not even at tier eight yet. Hmm. All right. Let's upgrade those abilities here. I'm gonna save the purples. I'm gonna save the purples for uh for my Asgardians because I've got a few more abilities on my Asgardian team that I need to level up with. Oh well, I just spent purple on accident. Um, where those go? But I'm pretty close to getting all my Asgardians to six 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 four. I think I'm like uh two abilities off on Sif. I think. All right, so we got them at eleven thousand. I really wanna. Okay, let's, hmm, $15 for this. How many of these do we have? Oh, yeah, we don't have any. Yeah, because we just used them on, uh, on Symbiote Spider-Man, because he was bio, too. That's inconvenient. Um, yeah, we have plenty of those. $3 for syringes. We're going to need to get this to... I don't want to do this, but an error occurred, so I'm not able to... Can I click find again and that works? Nope, I guess I can't do that. Hmm. Are you gonna let me buy the three dollar one? Nope. Alright, I guess I can't buy anything today. Yay. Alright, let's go ahead and let's claim this. Alright, let's take a peek at Hydra at a uh, Red Skull real quick. Let's just see what we're rocking with. Because I haven't even looked into his abilities at all. So we got the Hydra 99 pistol here. So, we're looking at attack primary target for 150% piercing and apply defense down. Alright, that's pretty good. A basic that applies defense down. On war defense, apply taunt. 80% chance to chain to one adjacent target for 130% piercing and apply defense down. Alright, so on war defense, your red skull is going to, or well, when you're attacking, the red skull basic will chain 20% piercing 30% always chain okay so at level 7 it always change chain so on war defense it's going to apply a taunt to whoever he's targeting and it's going to apply defense down and it's going to chain to an adjacent target and apply defense down to that that's just his basic applying defense down to two characters on war defense also applying that taunt now that may be uh, you know, uh, it depends on who it uses it on. Because I, I really, so like, for instance, War Machine. Um, War Machine has this passive ability. Um, or if we, let's just go take a peek at it so I can show it off. So War Machine here, he's got this ability, in, integrated targeting. So I haven't upgraded this because it's just, it's really annoying. So, so here we go. Always apply taunt to enemies when they drop below 50% health. So let's say you're going up against, you know, Guardians or whatever and Drax falls beneath 50% health and he didn't already have taunt on now He has taunt again. So now you're forced to target Drax again. So it's Abilities like that like so that his kind of sucks War Machines really I hate that about him It's because it always it always screws me over because him and Iron Man have those globals So sometimes characters you don't want to target end up dropping below 50% and then they get that taunt which kind of Isn't good for you Because um, it just stops you from what you need to do um, but Hydra, since he, you won't be able to control him since he's on defense, uh, he's just going to, he's going to attack someone and, uh, he's going to attack someone and it's going to, uh, apply taunt to them. So then if it's your team on defense and he does it to say, you know, a, con a con not a controller, but a protector, um, that might, that might not be good for you. Um. But I'm not sure who Red Skull likes to target because I know characters have a preference on wanting to target controllers or uh, protectors based on uh, their AI. Uh, looking at the second ability here, we got an elite guard. It looks like it's a summon. Uh, so summon two to three Hydra minions. So just like Nick Fury at level seven, it'll summon three. So summon three Hydra minions at 260% normal damage and 150% of normal health. So that's pretty good right there. Uh, fill speed bar of self and all allies by 25%. Ooh, so that's going to increase that turn meter for your whole team right there. 
On war defense, generate two ability energy for self. Possible summons, hydro scientist and hydro rifle trooper. So those are going to be damage dealing characters. All right, so on war defense, though, you're going to generate two ability energy for self. All right, so this is taking four. And this one here. All right, this one here is okay. So yeah, so if you use that one at the start, because you start with three energy for this, you're going to generate one for the turn, and then you're going to get two. So when you start, you can use the elite guard, summon minions, and then your next turn, you'll have enough ability energy to use the storm assault. Okay. All right, so storm assault, apply offense up to two to three random allies or self. All right, so that's good. And attack primary target for 270% damage. Gain assist at 50% damage from two to three Hydra allies. At level five, three Hydra allies, three to five. And look, look at this, gain assist from five Hydra allies. That's not even on war. That's just in general attack. Prime. Yeah, that's, that's not a war thing. So when you use this ability, if you've got some hard hitting Hydra, Hydra allies, and it just says Hydra allies, it doesn't have to be minions. My winter soldier is a six red star. And that's a heavy hitter right there. Assist at 50% damage. So it's 50% damage though. But still, 5 allies? That's good. And and it uh, it applies the offense up. So they're going to be dealing additional damage. Offense up to 3 random allies. Offense, okay, so at level 7. Yeah, this is a must right here. This one right here. Apply offense up to all allies and self. Plus 50% damage to primary target. Okay, yeah, that's good. Yeah, because that, that does 40, 40, so that's 80% plus 50, so that's 130 on top of 270, so that's 400. So attack primary target for 400% damage, then you're gaining an assist from five Hydra allies at 50% damage with the offense up on them. Yeah, that's going to be, that's a heavy hitter right there. Plus they've got offense. Yeah, that's, that's huge. Dude, this is going to be a menace to deal with in war. I need to start working on my Hydra. Yeah, hi, this is going to be a crazy war defense right here. Okay. So that was, wait, we did we, no, we hail Hydra. Okay, hail Hydra. On spawn, if health is full, this character has one or more Hydra minion allies. Wait, on spawn, if health is full, this character has one or more Hydra minion allies. Oh, okay. And no charge, gain eight charge. So it gains eight charge. On non-summoned Hydra minion ally death. Okay. Non-summoned. So that's that's for the minions. Ally death. If charged, revive that ally at 40% max health and apply one death proof and lose one charge. Gain eight charge. On spawn. If health is full, this character has one or more Hydra minion allies and no charged. Gain eight charge. So when he spawns, he gains eight charge. If you have those Hydra minion allies, if charged, revive that ally at 40% max health and apply one death proof and lose one charge. So you have eight revives for your minions. That sounds pretty good. Gain 5% speed and damage. Hydra minion allies gain 5% speed and damage. On war defense. Okay, let me read that again. Gain 5% speed and damage. Hydra minion allies gain 5% speed and damage. Okay, so he's also increasing speed and damage for your Hydra team. All right, but I'm sure it goes up, you know, the more it goes. Yeah, so the revive apply to death proof on revive. Revive dead Hydra minion allies at 50%, 5% speed. So, okay, so here we go. 5% speed, 5%, so 15%. So instead, this passive, this passive will do 15%. Uh, speed and damage for Hydra minion allies and self. All right, and then reviving characters when they die. If you have a charge at 50% health with two death proof. Yeah. Okay. All right. What's what's this war defense? On war defense, gain 25% damage reduction per non-summoned Hydra ally. Non-summoned Hydra ally. That's, so that's just Hydra ally again. Gain 10% resistance against defense down and bleed. All right, so, so we're talking about Hydra allies, non-summoned Hydra allies. Okay, so you're going to get damage reduction. 
gain 10,000% resistance against defense down. All right, so 10,000% resistance against defense down and bleed. Okay. So this is Hydra allies. So the passive increases Hydra, Hydra minion allies. And he can revive Hydra minions that die. Storm Assault is for Hydra allies. Summon two to three. So that's summoning. So this just summons. Okay. And then this one. All right. So basically, I'm, so what I'm looking at right now is I'm, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about crossbones and I'm thinking about winter soldier. So basically all I can tell is that if you decide to use crossbones in winter soldier, the only thing that isn't going to work out for you is that you're not going to get the uh, increased speed and damage because that only goes to Hydra minion allies. So it can at level five, if you use those orange mats, it can be at 15%. Uh, so you can have 15% speed and damage for your Hydra minion allies, or if you choose to use Winter Soldier and Crossbones, you won't be getting that. And you won't be able to, uh, Red Skull won't be able to revive Crossbones and uh, Winter Soldier. So you got to watch out for that too. Because I really, I'm not so sure about uh, Crossbones, but I would like to use Winter Soldier. I feel like he'd be a good, a good character on this team. Um, but it definitely seems more minion based. All right, let's go into Blitz here. I've got I've got the uh, the Orb uh, Assault Blitz. I haven't done any attacks in that. So let's go ahead and change our team. My Hydra isn't really leveled up that much, so we're not going to have an issue like last time with uh, Colossus, where um, or not Colossus, uh, Cyclops, where Cyclops uh, was too powerful um, for it. Okay, so we do have Hydra Rifle Trooper. Um, who do we take out? I think it's... So wh I haven't really looked at it too much. I think... I forgot who I was thinking about. I definitely know Armored Guard I want. Rifle Trooper I want. But then we have to choose one of these to get out. I think I'm going to ditch Hydra Sniper in the long run. Because Hydra Sniper right now, you have to farm him from... I think he has a node... And then he's also in the war store. Gross. Who's gonna who's gonna buy a character? Who's gonna buy minions from the war store? No way. Especially when Sif and Graviton are in there. I wish they would just take minions out of the war store, and then you would see Sif and Graviton flow through the war store more often. More often. And I think Ravager Bruiser's in there too. Someone like that. And Mercenary Sniper. That's horrible. All right. So here we go. Let's save this squad. Squad saved. Okay. I also wanna I wanna show you guys something too. Real quick before we do that, because I just saved that squad. Is it still in here? Yes, this right here. Ten dollars for a thirty Hydra scientist? Are you kidding me? Who would spend ten dollars on Hydra scientist? You're gonna tell me like a whale? This character is at maximum star rank. Hydra scientist? I'm pretty sure that's the one. Store. Is that the one you get from here? Yeah. You get Hydra Scientist from Blitz Orbs. I've had him maxed for so long. Like, disgusting. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at this team, though. Get in a couple attacks. It won't be war defense, so we won't be able to get those added buffs. But let's go ahead and do it, do it with this. We don't have Winter Soldier with us. Our Winter Soldier's a little bit strong. Let's see if we can get a, a decent team to go up against. I just saw Sif. It's not really loading that well. All right, so here we go. As guardians, twenty thousand as guardians versus fifty-eight thousand Hydra. Hopefully, this is uh pretty decent. All right, here we go. Um, let's put it on one just so we can see the abilities. All right, on defense down on the r rifle trooper. That's grenadier. That's scientist. Armored 
guard. Okay, so that defense down just got spread to everyone. Sif goes, okay, let me just speed that up to three. I want to get to our turn. Okay, here we go. All right, she has taunt, so this is going to attack all enemies. Um, it's going to, hmm. Let's go ahead and do that. It's going to kill the minion, though, which sucks. All right, all right, so we dropped him down half health. No, no, this is a 100% uh, 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 power level shooting down. We're 50,000 50, versus 20,000. Or, yeah, is it 50? Yeah, 50,000 power versus 20,000 power. So we're very powerful. All right. This does apply death proof and deflect to the most injured ally and heal that ally for 2,500 uh, health. 10% of this character's max health on ward defense clear stun from red skull ally. Hmm. Always apply heal block. Okay. All right. So we're good. We don't have to really heal anyone. Uh, gain taunt, clear three negatives. Okay, I'm not too concerned about that. Oh, we're going to gain an assist from Hydra Rifle, so she should be gone because Hydra Rifle assists. Yeah, that's good right there. Okay, let's go ahead, attack primary target, clear positive effects from target. Okay, let's do that on Hella. Let's get rid of that, uh, that uh, regen she's got. All right, and then he attacked again. I think I missed that. All right, let's summon some Hydra minions in here. All right, there we go. We got a rifle trooper and a scientist there. All right, let's go for Thor. He's gone. This this is the new this is the new shield team right here. I would actually like to see shield go up against this team. This team this team is definitely going to be really good. If you can get this team up to like 300,000, that'd be insane. But have that on war defense, that would that would be tough. All right, all right. Let's see what else we got here. So these are all like pretty high levels. Hmm. I'm not gonna increase my tier. Okay, yeah. Let's just go for this one here. I want I want a better like you know balanced uh balanced fight, but uh, our tier level is gonna affect that. This time we're gonna put it on three times. We saw their abilities go off. It's nothing too insane uh, that we missed out on. We didn't get to see a Hydra. We didn't get to see Red Skull's uh, ultimate go off. All right, this time we're putting it on three times. It looks like a good team too. It, like it just looks well sound. Well, not well sound. It looks, it looks nice. Yeah. Boom. Yeah, they're already already destroyed. It's like a Punisher start, and he goes first too. That's really good. All right, we're just going to go for him. And then we didn't get an assist there. It's, uh, yeah, he gets the assist from Rifle Trooper, but he had taunt when we finished, so he won't do that. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Repeat this attack one time, so we'll finish her. And, oh, so we attacked Shield Operative, but we finished her off, so we switched target to Wolverine. That's good to know that that uh, he'll switch targets. I think it's because maybe we splashed onto Wolverine. So there's that defense down on him, but it's gone because it was his turn. All right, and there we go. All right. All right, guys, I'm going to increase our tier level here, uh, and I'm going to get us uh, some more difficult fights. So I will be back in just a second after I do this. All right, guys, here we have a, a closer match. Uh, I could keep going, you know, try to get a higher match, but I'm about to hit the last reward for the Blitz. And, uh, yeah, kind of getting impatient. <laughs> Here we go. We're going up against Defenders, but this one has Night Nurse on it. Uh, so, that's a thing, which Night Nurse should probably receive a, a rework if you're listening. Uh, rework for Night Nurse, please, because she's kind of a, who's Night Nurse? I've always kind of said that, like, who's Night Nurse? Like, I leveled her up to Tier 9. Because she was, you know, supposed to be, you know, the old Ultimus Raid 5 meta. Like when Raid 5 had, you know, Raid 6 had come out. And people were like, whoa, Raid 6, you know. But, and people were rocking her in Raid 5. And I never really had because I was always just focused on, like, Defenders. I was building Defenders before Defenders got a rework. Because, mostly because of the Netflix TV show. But, anyways, here we go. Iron Fist going to hit him with a basic apply that heal block. We're going to get the assist from Hydra Rifle Troopers, so let's go ahead and target Daredevil. Ooh, we didn't get that. Um, we're going to hit him twice with this. 
He dodged. Of course he did. We finished her. Um, let's finish Iron Fist here. Ooh, defense down. Didn't finish him. Wowza. All right, so he's gone. We don't need to heal anyone, basic. Ooh, let's get that taunt because scientist over there isn't looking too hot. Let's get some minions in here. We're going to generate ability energy for himself, I believe. I don't think we're going to be able to show off that ult, even though I would like to see that. I think we're going to end up finishing everyone. Actually, let's do this. Let's try to get to that ult. I think we can do it. I think we can get to the ult with with Red Skull here. Yeah, let's finish him, and then we can use... Oh, uh, no. Are we going to be able to? Yeah, we're... we're, oh, sh we're no, no, we're not. It was right there! Red Skull was right there! I want to see his ult! I really want to see his ult go off. But we haven't. I could have done it. Alright, let's find a team here. Where's the meta teams? Why is it all randomness? Oh, the Graviton Science is Supreme. Hmm. Let's go against this. Even though it's kind of random, but... Let's just go for it. Because you never know. Actually, I do know. Obviously, I'm going to win. Duh. This is a sure-to-win team. Meanwhile, I'm playing <laughs> Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes on my phone. While I'm waiting for this to load. I'm not good at Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. I'm like three years behind where I need to be. Like I go up, I go and look for like videos on like teams I'm building and it's all like three years old. Like that's how far I'm behind. <laughs> all right. Let's go for him because we'll tech twice and we'll get that double splash. Ooh, look at that. We almost finished them all off. All right, let's go ahead and do this. And that should generate ability energy for himself. All right, let's just do this. I don't think we're going to be able to get there. And we summon minions, so now the minions all have to go. We're definitely not getting back to Red Skull. We're definitely going to... Let's do this. Can we get to Red Skull? I think we will get to Red Skull. Yeah, Red Skull's like right up. Here we go. Oh, no, we're one off. Oh, oh no. We're not going to be able to do it. I'd like to, but uh, we're not going to. He's just, we're, fin we're finishing the node before we can even get to Red Skull's ult. <laughs> and we're out of Blitz Recharges. Alright guys. Definitely, I'm definitely gonna, let's go ahead and look at Hydra real quick. I'm definitely gonna have to work on my Hydra team just to get him up there because no one's really built Hydra. Um, I mean, some people I think did in anticipation for the rework. Um, am I still on the camera because I kind of slouched down? I am. Hello. Um, whatever, let's, let's set up. All right. Yeah. So as you can see, I have the six red star winter soldier here. That's who I'm thinking like, uh, yeah, that'd be nice to get him on the team. Grenadier's right there too, to level up to seven. Yeah, Hydra Sniper is going to get the bench, I think. I was leveling him up. I mean, he's almost five star. Okay, let's check out. Where can we get Hydra Sniper? From the war store. I know that. From those orbs. And he does have a node. I don't know why I'm buying this, but whatever. Hmm. I see. I'm gonna... Let's, let's take a look at Hydra Sniper's kit real quick. Okay. Gain 5% speed. Hydra Minion gain 5% speed. Okay. So he does add speed. I don't know who, who would get the thing. Because, I mean, Hydra Sniper seems, you know, all right. It's mostly his stars is the reason I'm looking not to have him. I think Hydra Scientist is really the one who's who's not that good. I mean, he does just apply Death Proof and Deflect. But, uh, but yeah, I just don't really see a, an extreme reason. 5% max health. See, I don't know. I don't know who's going to get the bench. Cause I kind of I like Grenadier. See, Grenadier doesn't do anything. That's who's gonna get it. Cause right here you can tell, Grenadier doesn't do like focus. Grenadier doesn't do anything for the Hydra team. But this one right here, this is just what I kind of liked, was that it clears a positive effect from each target and it attacks twice. Yep, it's Grenadier. Grenadier does nothing for the Hydra team. Yeah, it's going to be... <sighs> He's a 4 red star, 7 star, though. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, yeah, he doesn't do anything, though. You see, this one does stuff. It's definitely Grenadier. Grenadier is going to get the bench. Yeah. All of them do stuff except for Grenadier. I don't think Winter Soldier does anything for Hydra, does he? Apply 5%. Okay, so he does, actually. He applies crit chance to Hydra allies. I really don't want to take Grenadier off my Hydra team. But I, he seems like the choice right now. He doesn't do anything for us. He just has this. The only reason I want to keep him on the team is because of this. Because I, I like, I like the being able to splash three characters and clear positive effects, and it attacks twice, so it clears two positive effects. I guess. What does this basic do? Apply slow. Always apply slow. It's Grenadier. Grenadier is getting it. Okay, let's see. What is? Why do I want Hydra Sniper? Gain two offense up to a maximum of three, four self, and one random Hydra minion or Red Skull ally. Yeah, he's going to apply offense up. Yeah. To all, apply to have... Up to a max, apply to offense up to a maximum of three to all Hydra minion or Red Skull allies. Yeah, he applies offense up to the whole team. And then this one also increases speed on war defense, 5% crit chance. Yeah, increased crit chance, yeah. Ooh, him, Hydra Sniper and Winter Soldier, that would really increase the crit chance right there if they're both increasing crit chance. Sniper and, and Winter Soldier, hmm. All right, guys, so that's Red Skull for you. I do want to do one thing, though. Click the player profile. Then new avatar, we've got... Hello. H-I-J pre... L-M-N-O-P-Q-R. There he is, Red Skull. Select. There we are. Boom. One of the first people to have Red Skull. Well, in my alliance, at least. No, this guy has it. I was just going to say, oh, look at me. Uh, I've got Red Skull. <laughs> this guy does too. Alrighty, guys. There we have it. There is Mr. Red Skull for you. Let's go ahead and open these orbs we got from that blitz we were just doing. See if we get anything. 15 Loki. Okay, I'll take it. And 15 also blitz. And that's good. Um, and then I think we have basics too. But who cares about basics, really? Open basics. No one likes you, basics. Go away. And then we have like orbs here. No one cares about these. Confirm. All right. There you have it, guys. All right. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, oh, look, right here. There you see it, right there. You don't see Grenadier. Hydra featuring Red Skulls. Yeah, that confirms it right here. Sniper, Scientist. Oh, can we go back, please? We can't. But you saw right there. Oh, here it is. Armored Guard. Rifle Trooper, Red Skull, Scientist, Sniper, no Grenadier. Sorry, Grenadier, you're not on the team. Have fun in uh, your lonely land of, you know, being by yourself for the rest of eternity. So, have fun. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think that's the third time I've said this. <laughs> My name is Arctic Zero. If you liked the video, leave a like down below. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Um, if you have any feedback for me, let me know down below in the comments section. Anything helps, even the uh, more harsh criticism. Um, I'll take that uh, with a grain of salt. <laughs> All right, see you guys next time. Peace out.